All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. Here they are, Ryan. How the heck are you doing today? We got us some Kerbal in today. Um, I need to check audio, make sure everything's okay. I had it. Whoa. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. Why does it lose that? All right, hang on, almost got this. All right, let's try it again. Let's check audio and make sure it works. All right, it appears to be working. Acquisition is signal complete. All right. Bring up the game. I need to go over here and minimize that. All right. Um, I have reached out to one of the mod authors of one of the mods I'm using. And I um, he's been, I guess, uh, he goes by Zero Kerbal. And he's been taking over some of the mods that I have been using or am using. And it turns out one of the mods, and he told me that um, Seacan seems to be having a, what did he say? Um, Seacan seems to have a log jam, hasn't been accepting new mods from Space Dock, at least for me. I said, huh, well, that's interesting. So um, if I do, how do I do this? Search for... Wait, you mean Linux Guru Gamer doesn't manage all the mods? Not yet. <laughs> I want to search by author. Here we go. So if I type in uh, zero, that didn't work, did it? Look at all those mods I'm using. So. Um, the one in question is a field training facility. Now, according to, now this is current, but if we go to the space dock, Hey, Torch, how you doing? If we go to the space dock, it's out of date. So I don't think he's actually updated the, um, uh, the mod on. So that makes sense. And I, I reached out to him and said, Hey, space dock is old. I thought, well, maybe, maybe this link is old. And when you go to uh, his forum post, and here's space.github curse forge. So again, if we go to the field training facility on space docs, finally a chance to watch you play working from home. Nice perks. If we click there again, it's the same one. So um, maybe he just forgot to update it. Anyway, if I go to the GitHub, there is a new release. And in fact, he calls it the Latit. Lada Machinti, I can't pronounce that. And what he's doing, it looks like he's taking the field training lab and the field training facility and have merged them. So that's fine by me. But what we have to do is do a clean install. So before we do that, we're gonna shut down CCAN. We're gonna go to our installation directory, which is over here. So this is our Kerbal's in space. We're just going to copy this so we have a backup. Copy, and then we're going to paste. Well, I, th I think it actually has happened. Maybe I read into that. Delete old. So we have to do this anyways. Mod provides training. So the difference is on the field... Oh, all right, so there's our copy. So the difference is the field training facility costs time and energy. The field training lab just costs science. So um, so if we go on the forum, we go to the last page. So this is the, um, this is not the, the version. Here we go. Hang on, actually. Uh, oh, you launch Seacan. <laughs> there we go. Both will be merged into one plugin. Huh, 
I wonder if that means they have been plugged in. Both part modules remain in the add-on to improve should not affect. So I, I think that should say has been merged versus will be merged. Um, so anyways, let's go ahead and um, get that out of there. Let's go ahead and close this down again. Oh, actually, sorry. So we're going to use CCAN to remove. Now, we haven't been actively using the mod, so it's not going to have any negative effect on us. Uh, so we're going to go to Field Training Facility, and this is to remove it. Okay, then we're gonna shut that down again. Then we're gonna go to forum. Wow. And then we go down to releases. There we are. And we want to Oh, where's the download? <gasps> uh oh. Right, okay. Oh, don't tell me I have to download it this way. I, I don't like doing it that way. Hang on. Change log. Pages, help wanted. There's the source code. No. Uh, as a release engineer, it always makes me happy when people read the release notes. Oh, thanks. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm cruising over them because I'm trying to, so he, he is not releasing the executable, the source code. So that means if we go back here, uh, it's in here. So I think if I remember how to do this is what we want to do is go down to, um, get, get to file. Whoa, maybe not. No. All right. Do I have to log in? Add file, go to file code. No download zip. All right. <laughs> um, let's see what we got in here. That should be a text file. No, not yet. Build training facility, uh, one, two, one. Okay, so cool. So we should be able to take this right here, go to our installation folder. Make sure we don't have a field training facility. I don't see one, paste that. There it is. And let's uh, see what happens. The easy way to check this is we can put the science module on clamps and put it on the um, put on the launch pad. We put a Kerbal in it and make sure. You know, I I have only compiled. This is gonna. This is before Visual um, source code. Um, Microsoft, when I worked at Microsoft, I did some, some Visual Basic. So compiling wasn't real because they had an interpreter. Um, but I did do a little bit, I was trying to learn C and um, at the time, everyone was using something called Watcom. So I got a copy of it. I liked it because everything was color coded and compiling was 
you know, using command prompts and stuff like that. And it was, it was interesting. So I've never done a mass compile or anything like that. So what we just did is we've updated a mod manually because uh, CCAN hasn't found the latest release. And I think it's because the mod author hasn't uploaded it to Space Dock. The Space Dock has an older version than what, what I was running. That's literally my day job. Well, I, I am extremely, um, um, I mean, I'm beside myself. People that are coders that compile, whether you're using Java or Python, incredible. Yes, IDEs, yes. What does that stand for again? E is the environment, right? Independent development environment or something like that. Oh, excuse me. That was a burp. Oh, that was another burp. Oh, God. Integrated. That was close. All right. So I think. Let's see here. Borg Cucumber. 100 bits. There are some awesome Python courses online. Dude. Could check them out. I, okay. I will. I actually. Look. I want to show you guys something here. Okay. I have tried. Hang on, what am I looking for? I have got the PyCharm Community Edition, the the compiler, and uh, yeah. So I, I've I've dabbled a little bit, but I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. I get you. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's find. Okay, we do have the mobile processing lab, and in fact, hang it. Terrible access. Oh, it doesn't show it in here. Oh, no, no, no. Looks like maybe mod didn't take. Where's the... Okay. Ah. Uh... All right, hang on. Let's uh, try something here. Let's put a Kerbal in. Let's put uh, Jeb and uh, maybe it's not showing. It should show, I think. Oh, all right, let's put some, put that there. Wait, hang on. Shouldn't need batteries because the clamps supply batteries. But I was complaining of that there was no control. Even though I was putting a pilot in there, right? Jeb's a pilot. My ears. In my work, coding spans across Python, C, Java, Bash, Ruby. Oh, man. All right, let's see what we got here. There is no... No training facility. So, I either downloaded it wrong or installed it wrong. So, let's... um. Lord Cucumber again, thank you for the 100 bits. All right, let's, uh... Okay. <laughs> All right, you say so. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, oh, no. Manual installation. Maybe I should have read this. Um, 
Um, if downloaded from so and so, I didn't. If downloaded from so, okay. Remove all older versions. We did that. Oh, installing any other fork. I didn't do that. Did I do it wrong? So delete the KSP root game data field training facility, extract the packages to that. All right, so I think I did it right. So extract the packages game data folder to your KSP game data folder. So I think I did it right. Hmm. All right, let's let's try something out here. Let's delete this one. And just for giggles, let's go. Let's go to our copy. This has got 10 and this has got nine items. This is missing agencies. Oh, all right. What does it say about agencies? Maybe, maybe that's what I'm missing. No, this is the new one. This one doesn't have agencies. I think this is only for contracts though. Maybe. Cause we don't have agencies in this one. Let's see if I copy. This one, oops, over to this one. It is. Now let's see what happens. Gamers wouldn't be, wait, gamers, wouldn't it be the entire extracted folder? No, it says right here that <clears throat> you just need the uh, game data folder from the package. So we should end up with game data field training facility. So anything outside of that, I think is just all the development stuff. Someone, someone check me if I'm wrong. So here's what I need. So see here, it says we need the agencies. We didn't have agencies. So the only dependency is module manager. We got that. I, I might be missing something. We're missing agencies. Unless that's old because it also has contract. Well, okay. We'll find out here in a sec. So let's see what happens with the previous version, which again, we haven't even used the mod, the previous one. So this is the one that CCAN had installed. And uh, we'll put the same thing out on the launch pad. Actually, we should be able to see the stuff in the editor. At least we should be able to. Hey, Tone. Hi, I want to offer a promotion to your channel. No, 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 no. So uh, I'm going to give you a uh, ban for that. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Why didn't that work? Bean. Flip, thank you so much for that. Hang on a second. I'm having a little trouble with, um, why? There we go. I think that worked. Huh, I can't ban it through. All right, anyways, let's uh, let's do that. 
Uh, Flip, thank you so much for the seven months, man. I appreciate that. I really do. All right, so if we go in here and I think if the mod's installed correctly, we should see, see field training facility. This is showing up here and not for the other one. So I did something wrong. <laughs> what else is there? All right, so that's our copy. Let's not play with the copy. Um, this is our our current one. So let's delete this one. This is the one we we copied from our copy. All right. Now, if we go here, copy this. All right, so, whoa, wait, it does have agencies. Uh, okay, this is, all right, confusing myself. All right, so this is our actual live Kerbals in Space. This is our downloaded field training facility. This is the master file and according to his documentation, if you download from space or GitHub or other install, install, place the game data folder inside the Kerbal Space Program root folder. All right, so that's the game data. Here's my game data. So if I go in there, there's the mod. So there's the package. We want to put the game data inside the root folder. Right. Okay. So we do this. Copy. Paste. And then according to this, we should have agencies, compatibility. I don't see contracts. There's flags, localization. I don't see parts. So something is missing. Yeah, so I um, wonder if the parts are missing. So if we go back to our previous installation, see if we can't hack this to make it work. So we'll go here, copy, game data, field training facility. Huh. Well, oh, there's patches. I don't have patches. I don't see parts either. Oh, well, that's why, because he uses a config file to... That's the science lab. So he modifies the science lab. All right, so we need that. And it says plug-in, but... Oh, interesting. The actual plugin. There's no plugin DLL of folder. Huh. All right. So, um, So you guys check me if I did this wrong. So let's go out to the GitHub, GitHub site again. Bean. Hey, F18, F18 with a 55 month resub. Nice. Yeah, there's no DLL in here. Am I in the wrong version? I 
Thank you, Alfie. Uh, was the plugin combined? Well, I don't see a DLL at all. So here, here's the download, right? Oh, wait. Uh, hang on. So I don't see a DLL. There's the source code. Uh, there you go. So if, if we go again, I'm kind of, okay. So there should be a plugins folder. We're missing a plugins folder. Um, okay. Interesting. All right. So the one on GitHub is missing a plugin. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's close some windows here. So maybe I downloaded something wrong. I don't know. There's the, oh, he, he put a compatibility for Kerbalism. Nice. Hey, look at there. All right. So now, <laughs> um, all we have to do is, uh, copy this. All right. Now let's give it a whirl. What was that uh, curse? I'm just uh, tweeting to the um, the mod author to let him know. And again, maybe I did something wrong from uh, that yeah. was totally wicked. Juice Man Dan, thank you for the ten months, guys. Thank you for the great content. Really, just installing mods is great content, you guys. Oh man. Ah. Uh. It's funny you say that because more and more people are dropping out of Discord for some reason. They're leaving the channel. Alfie, thank you for the hype. Hype. Um, because I'm posting videos to YouTube for Fallout 3. I don't edit these ones because uh, it's, you know, all the stuff is relevant. All right, let's see here. Let's see if we did it. So that's 35 minutes of wasted time installing and investigating a mod. All right, so here we go. Oh, wait, I didn't need to do that. Hey, I saw it. 
Field training facility, yay. Now, is the field training lab in here? Nope. Just the field training facility. Huh. Go, go, go away. Start research. Hmm. Oh, that's different. Huh. All right, so hang on a sec. Hold the phone. Let's, um, let's put a probe core. Dang it. Oh, what did I do? And, um, again, I, I don't know if I need that. So if we go and put clamps, because maybe he hasn't combined both, both the mod. Oh, geez. And we got a Kerbal in there. Oh, we lost. All right, let's put, um, put Bill in there. Training facility. It's there now. And this is, um, this takes electricity. So I guess he has not combined, um, everything. But that's okay. We, we mainly wanted the training facility. Fallout gameplay has been a, a good live. I haven't checked out the YouTube. I'm deleting out a lot of the boring stuff, me walking from A to B. And I got behind on the editing on that. All right, so um, maybe he has not yet combined them as, as uh, somebody pointed out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dump out of this and um, I wanna check something real quick so according to where did we download it from forge right so we should be on 1.2.1.1 .1 all right so we can check that all right so he's got that file there okay um the version file i think also reflects 1.2.11 good and i think i can go in here oh 1.2.1.3 uh okay interesting um I guess we're we're good to go I guess, all right? We're going to wait to hear back from him. And uh ugh, mainly what I use it for is to help advance the kerbals. That's all. I don't think we'll be uh doing that today anyways. And I don't see any null refs or any errors or anything like that, so. Another cold morning today. Start off at 33 degrees. It's warmed up to 39 degrees. I'm having a ton of fun in Fallout. I really am. I, I know it's not a recent game, but man, it's so nostalgic. Yeah, I think our rain just stopped here. 
All right. Um, I think we're good. So no mods have changed. I just had to install one, update it manually. All right. So since we're in science mode, we have to make up our own plans. We, we went ahead and drove around and picked up science already. Um, we've put two Kerbals in orbit and got them back to the planet. So we collected some science there. Um, so what are the challenges of this game? Well, uh, we've got some stuff cranked up to where like re-entry heat is different. We have a heart failure mod, so it's very well possible that we could, uh, well, we did, we had, we had two engine rust issues when we were trying to put our first two Kerbals into space. Um, what else is our challenges? Uh, oh, no ground stations. So yeah, challenging. Um, let's see about, um, relays. Let's just put one into orbit, just one single relay to see how that works. All right. Um, And we, we have a nice strong relay here too. All right, so here's here's our guidance chip. Here's our relay. This also has some electrical charge and a little tiny reaction wheel too. All right, so now this t antenna, um, even though it says a relay in the game, it's a, it's a directional and a relay. You don't have to put another antenna on it. However, Means that we have a part failure mod. I think it might be a good idea to put, uh, not a duplicate one of those, but another, you go away, another antenna just in case. So let's lift this up. Let's grab this. Actually, it'd be kind of cool if we did this, All right? So if we put that there, and then if we tuck it in a little bit, All right? So let's say hypothetically this antenna fails. Well, then we're gonna have that as a backup so we can maybe get reacquired communication or something like that. I don't know. Or we, we extend this just in case one of these fails because let's see, this is uh oh, wow. We have not used any of these parts. All right, so um, nothing fancy. Let's just put a fuel tank on this. Um, there. Um, there, kind of overkill. Now it needs, and again, I just want to put this out there to see how we launch. So basically we're going to, we're going to do this as a, uh, turbulent in space first relay. All right. Um, we don't need to put any science on it. Uh, we do need to put, this has got 15 electrical. Now, if we run into issues with electrical, let's go ahead and put two of those. I'm gonna, I just want the lights to poke out. So we're gonna do that and um to keep those batteries charged some solar panels okay so that's it that's our basic little probe we don't need any RCS. We're just going to put it into a standard orbit. Let's reduce the thrust down to like half.
All right, so let's go ahead and do some strutting here. So strut that to heaviest. Do that also. So that kind of sandwiches everything in there and we're gonna be good. All right, so let's put this into orbit. So let's wrap this in a nice shroud, a little fairing package. Hey, Paul, thank you so much for the four months. Thank you for using your prime on me. I appreciate that very much. All right, I think uh, this sticks out just a smidge. Let's try that again. So first of all, we want this to use clamshell is always fun. I don't, oh, is that, that's, oh, I don't need that. That's off. That's good. Uh, we want a stage and we also want to do that. All right, so now let's build the fairing. All right, cool. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Bean. DJ, 64 months. Guys, thank you so much. Hey, what's up, DJ says. Well, we're building our first probe. That's what's up. All right, so. Ooh. All right, so let's get a... Um, A medium, so we need a decoupler, one, right? There we go. You know, this thing has got 1300 Delta V when we get it into vacuum. So maybe we can get it to vacuum with a lifter all by itself. Let's see. Uh, we have, so we need a, uh, one of those Does that work. Oh, that'll work. All right. Let's go ahead and, um, do that. And let's see, what do we got for lifting? We do have the, um, let's see if this works. The Bobcat, not quite. Plenty of Delta V. Um, if we put the skipper on there, oh, that comes close. All by its lonesome. However, um, I think we're gonna run into a, a little bit of a problem here. If we had just a little bit more fuel because we, we want to do stage recovery for this and also we want to put some uh, additional control. So uh, this is the X232, so we should have, there's a 16, okay. We, really? Oh, you guys, all right, fine. We'll do the ESA colors. Except for this doesn't have ESA. Okay, that's close enough. All right, so that gets us under what I want to do, but I think what I want to do here is first of all, let's make sure that's strutted, good. Um, just a very basic rocket. We have enough Delta V to get to orbit, but our thrust is really low. So I want to, first of all, put in some assistance for control and how I want to do that is we're going to use my uh my go-to method here did we clamp this in and we're going to go with um oh we got the big one I press the wrong key I'm going to put this about in the middle there we go. maybe
All right, so now, um, still our thrust a little bit too low. So let's try a little assisted boosting here. So this is adding mass, but and playing around with ideas here. Where is the swivels? There we go. That works. All right, so let's let's uh clean this up a little bit here. So we don't want those to couple. We want these to strut to grandparent. These should also be strutted to grandparent. That is way too big. That worked. That should be that. It's good. So what I should be able to do is also start this part. Stop. All right. We're off for crying out loud. Terrible. All right. 142 off the launch pad. Um, all right. Something I want to do is I want to make sure I don't leave this in orbit. So just in case this stage finishes the orbit, I want to be able to decouple it and return it via stage recovery. So how are we going to do that? Uh, first of all, let's get stage recovery dialed in. Actually, hang on. Uh, we've got control covered as in maneuverability. You know, we're not using any um, uh, fins or anything like that. We're using reaction wheels. So a lot of electrical being used up there. So, um, let's give this some basic solar. Then we're going to grab some basic batteries here. I can only got one of those. All right, two, I guess is fine. Um, now to this thing. Add something to it. We're going to put that probe core and this probe core, just in case we have a failure of some kind. We're going to put that back. All right, now we just need an antenna for this stage.
So if anyone's curious what I'm doing is I have a mod it's called stage recovery. I don't need it for the cash, but I need it for the parts. If I recover a part, it the safety rating goes up, which means I have a lower chance of it failing. And if we check this right now, we can see right now my skipper engine is going to fail. I don't have a backup for it. So if it if it has a problem, we'll just uh, stage it off and, and stuff like that. So what, what I haven't done here is done any stage recovery. So we're going to do that right now. And I'm going to grab the little pocket edition. Put that on in symmetry. And then we grab a chute. That's going to stay up in space. And then we add the chute, which should put it one on each side. Good. We need to set these so they work. All right. So right now it's showing red. Red is bad. So what I want to do is kind of scoot that in there. I'm going to make a copy of it. All right, now we got 88%. That's nice. Oh, that's that's not nice. There we go. I'm going to copy another one. And we get 96%. So I'm pretty good with 96%. Now we don't we don't actually see these deploy. This this happens behind the scenes. All right, so we still got a great thrust to weight ratio. Our delta V is good. All we have to do is put these stage recovery chutes way at the top. And bearing up there. Actually, put it right there. All right, so let's save that. Let's put some clamps on it. Finally going to launch a rocket as soon as I figure out where the clamps are. All right, so again, just for giggles, I want to test a lifter. I want to get some new parts being used and uh, why not have a relay up there, you know? All right, let's put this on the pad. Tell Mission Control we're going to launch a rocket. Saturn, what's up, man? I didn't see you come in. Sorry about that. All right, um, we're not collecting any science, so we could actually turn that off. We're gonna bring up our scent guidance. Let's try to put this uh, uh, higher than normal. Let's say 125 kilometers, or maybe 150, why not? Uh, let's do that, let's do that. I don't wanna do that. Force of roll is good, not that. Auto stage, sure. I do not wanna auto deploy anything. That would be fine. And then on our ascent path, uh, let's see here. Let's make this 60%. And um, altitude seven, velocity about two or 216. All right, that's good. Okay. And here we go. Ready? Three. Oh, wait, no, no. Check staging. Always check staging. That would have still worked, but here we go. Three, two, one. All right. We got liftoff. Now, when we get either 7.7 .7 kilometers or reach 216, 
meters per second, we'll start our gravity turn. There's our gravity turn. All right, we still have uh, over one minute and 30 seconds of fuel left in our lifter stage, and we have a fuel tank leak. Unable to repair remotely, we're losing liquid fuel. So that's going to uh, cause a problem. going to cause a big problem. Can you dump from a single tank? Uh, I could. I could jettison the contents. Hang on, though. This still might work out. Don't forget our probe has got its own fuel source, too. There's 421 Delta V left. That's not enough to finish our orbit. Should have put this antenna on an action group. Dang it. Oh, there we go. No, I don't want to trash it. Yeah, I know. That's all right. It's still working. It's just that it's going to stay up there. I'm not going to recover it. So this should. Oh, dear. We put the decoupler in the wrong spot. Way to go, Andy. Way to go. We're overheating. Maybe that'll blow up the... Uh, Yes. <laughs> Score. All right. So our, our lifter stage is going to fall down. Right now we have communication. Man, just one disaster after another. So we got a probe up. Yay. Uh, let's turn the SAS on. And of course, we lose communication because range, right? So we have no ground stations. So what is this really going to work as? Uh, just as a test flight, but it might help out later on because um, it could catch a signal from something to help us. So what I want to do is I want to see if I can do a Kerbal Assisted um, Relay Communication Deployment. That was a lot of words. I may not know what I just said. Either. All right, let's go back to the Space Center. Because if we send up a rocket to deploy probes, um, it's going to be really tricky because we always have to deploy. Yeah, we have to deploy on the KSC side, which may not work out. Well, I mean, I could force it, but that's never fun. Um, 
Is there anything to unlock that would help? No. No. Ooh, robotics. No. Nope. Ooh, more fair another fairing, but that won't help. No, I think. Bigger battery. Okay. Sure, why not? What's that? Oh, it's one of those light strips. Um. So is what it would have to do is put the Kerbal capsule on the bottom of the rocket. Lock the fuel tank for its capsule because it would be they would be delivering the satellites, right? So we, we put all the satellites on top with enough fuel and the bus system that the Kerbal's in, we want to make sure that his capsule's got enough fuel to get him back safely. I don't want to put him at the top. That would be weird. All right, let's figure this out. All right, so we put him at the bottom. That means the delivery system, he would be the delivery system with a bunch of fuel tanks on top of him. Weird. Or we put him in the middle, the Kerbal in the middle with his own engine and fuel source. That way he is Yes, that means the probes would be, he would be in the middle of everything. Oh, sounds fun. All right, let's do it. So first of all, let's design a capsule. We haven't used one of these before, I don't think. Um, let's make it safe for the Kerbal. No, actually, wait, 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 wait. Let's de design our probe. Um, Actually, wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Why can't we just use the probe we sent up? Is there anything wrong with that one? Is there anything that we're missing from this? I mean, it's got battery, solar panels, probe core. Send one into a polar orbit and one into a stationary over a KSC. Oh, you mean a, a geosynchronous orbit? Yeah, you can do that in Kerbin. Now we're gonna do we're gonna do some um we're gonna do three. But I like the idea of putting one into a polar orbit. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do the same one. So we're gonna call So the same rocket, let's call this uh, Polar. And we can use the same altitude. We just want to change instead of going zero, we want to go 90%, 90, right? 90 degree, yeah, 90 degree. Could go 270, it'd just go the other way. All right, so instead of zero, we'll do 90. I think that's right. Oh, we have a staging issue again. All right, let's do this. Uh oh, we have a battery short right off the bat. Not a good sign. Do we have two failures? Battery. Oh, that was a fuel tank from the previous one. All right. By the way, Flaws89, how you doing? Oh. Alright, so another tank failure. But last time we had a bigger one fail, so I think 
Um, should be okay. I think we have enough reaction wheels to offset the little tiny... There we are. We're doing our 90 degree. Oh, I'm out of beverage. Hey, who in chat owns and uses a 3D printer? Oh, okay. Yay. All right, let's uh deploy that. Well, Alex and I next week We'll be receiving, we did a Kickstarter with Anchor, um, A-N-K-E-R. Um, and they sent out early review copies to a lot of big YouTubers that do 3D printing. And they, they really enjoyed it. So we're going to get ours next week, Wednesday or Thursday. And uh, we're excited. Not just for, to make goofy, nerdy th things, but... All right, so we don't have to print miniatures. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I get it. I get it. So, okay. This is fine. We are we are in orbit. Oh, dear. And let's see, we made it with plenty of fuel this time. Um, let's go ahead and uh, separate. Now I, oh, we got to fix that decoupler. Okay. I should be able to turn this around. There we go. And we're gonna do a slow deceleration. Because I don't need this thing in orbit. All right. Oh, I lost communication. All right, that's fine. Oh, can't switch. Why? Yeah. All right, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> All right. We lost communication, which is odd because I thought I put it. I have an antenna there. I just, nothing's relaying a signal. I actually probably should, should have put these guys up in a higher orbit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We can do this. Hang on. Uh, oh, we don't have a communicator. Does it look nice? Yeah, we we uh, we trust the manufacturer, Anchor. Now, although they have a a company, Eufy, a, a security camera company, evidently they're, that company, which again it reflects on Anchor, did some did some no nos with the one of the with their uh, customer images, and uh, nothing drastically bad but they they say you know no subscription 
your stuff doesn't go to a cloud, blah, blah, blah. But they were sending images to the cloud and, 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 and anima uh, animations, uh, video and stuff like that. So uh, they got caught by a security expert. <laughs> you don't mess with the experts. All right, so we're completely out of fuel. We're not, oh, wait a minute, hang on. All right, good. So let's switch over to here. Yeah, it's the Anchor M5. All right, cool. Ugh. All right, so back to the Space Center. So whether they help or not, they're they're up there. But I think the relay in principle is a good relay for what we're doing right now. Hmm. So first things first, let's load up this relay and let's let's fix the problem we have here. All right, so let's keep that for a sec. Um, so what I need to do So it's got a relay antenna and backup antenna, some batteries. Once they're up there, we don't have to go to them to collect science or anything like that. Career mode, I would do that. What am I planning to print? The first thing I want to print is I want to save some money. <laughs> um, the uh, my my a couple of my Dewalt power tools, like my my sander and and whatnot, uh, they create a lot of dust, right? So the attachment, the wall charges you $30 for an attachment that goes on it. So you can go to a shop back $30 and someone actually made a file for 3d printers. So that's the first thing I'm going to make. Yeah. Something practical, but then something fun is I want to find a nice cutaway version of a, uh, a fallout, uh, mini nuke. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So. Well, that's fun. All right. I don't think there's anything wrong with this, uh, this probe or this relay. So let's go ahead and change the uh, route to the engine. Let's go to our sub assemblies. All right. Now we're going to be lifting a lot more stuff. So I, I, I think the fairing that's going to cover those, I, I think we can use this, but first of all, here's the problem. If we use stack separators, that, that stays in orbit as a piece of debris. Ah, uh, whatever. All right, so what we need to do is put a decoupler on this one. And we wanna lower the force down to like zero. Then we put this. Then we want to do a stack separator. So what is that? That's a 12. Uh oh, uh, what we want to do is a truss and the nodes. All right, here we go. The coupler was backwards. No, the decoupler actually was on the wrong. Yeah. It was on this versus that, so I don't need that one there. We're gonna do a whole different lifter because we're gonna need some more oomph. All right, so the stack separator has got zero force, and then we go to our sub assemblies. There it is, there it is, and 
All right. Yes. All right, so there's our three satellites we want to deploy. So let's clean this up a little bit. All right, cool. All right, let's save that. Um, how am I gonna do this? I wanna put the Kerbal on top of the delivery system. All right, how do I do this? Well, we're gonna need a decoupler. No, a stack separator. Hang on, I've never done this before, so this is going to be kind of goofy. That's not the right size. There we go. Um, actually, wait a minute. If we do a decoupler and just flip it, and if we have the, the Kerbal here, this decouples and stays but we want this to, uh, it's just going to be a fairing. So, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll decouple this because it, it's not going to have anything on it. This will be where the command pod is for a pilot. Maybe we should take two pilots. That's going to be awkward because then we have to take this thing. Ugh. Wait a minute, hold the phone, hold the phone. I have an idea. So I need another, um, we're using 2.5, 187. Now, what if we do, what if we do that? We put his rocket inside here. See, then it's not part of that. Ooh, I like that. But I think I want to use the bigger one. Hang on, I'm just playing around with ideas here. Uh, we don't need the truss though. So his rocket doesn't have to be that big. Their rocket. Um, still want to take two Kerbals. Uh, 
All right, hang on. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Save the relay. Get rid of this. And let's create Kerbal Craft. Wait a minute. Where's the rocket that we sent Kerbals up in already? Our first orbiter. All right, we can use parts of this. Right? Sure, why not? Okay, instead of those guys, um, So in vacuum, oh, they got a bunch of science up there too. Uh, do we need that? We don't. Let's take that off, take that off, take that off. Let's get rid of the science package. You still have batteries. Hey, Dragon, what, what's up? So this would be a payload that they would control or would have... Con this would be a payload, but they would be in control after we get rid of the probes or even during the probes. Because this should have all the safety stuff we need, right? It's got the backup chute, it's got the batteries. Yeah. All right, so let's save this, make the engine root, save this as a sub-assembly. Uh, how much space would a Kerbal program, wait, how much space would a Kerbal program, if a Kerbal could space program? A lot of space. that's in there so now we load up the this and then we bring the orbiter in there so we could take this up another notch stop 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 oh, that's too much Oh, okay. So we're going to need a uh, decoupler here. Perfect. <clears throat> Um, all right, let's make sure let's get this off of here for right now. This has got strutting. That's good. And then this needs to strut to grandparent part. So we're taking Kerbals along because we don't, I don't want a chance leaving a bunch of relays up there that I can't deploy because of communication. So having Kerbals up there, we have no fear because we're going to have a pilot and we'll take, we'll take two pilots just in case something happens to one pilot. Um, and so when we lose communication with, with KSC, 
pilots can still do what they need to do. Can you flip the manned capsule section so they ride the rocket backwards? I mean, that? That's going to give them a nosebleed. Uh, wouldn't that plate be in the way of the capsule engine? Oh, okay. Well, okay. So I haven't finished the rocket. The, this right here weighs how much is this way? This thing weighs, we'll say five and a half tons. This is not the delivery vehicle. This is just their re-entry vehicle. That we're going to put the lifter and the bus engine down here. So again, when we lose communication, I'm not going to be fearful of that because we have Kerbals that can drive the ship, right? So down here is what we're going to do is we're going to put a lifter that's going to get all of this into orbit. Uh, we're going to also have a, a section that will be um, what I call the bus. It's going to deliver all the uh, relays. So let's... let's um, Let's design that right now. So I know this doesn't look correct yet, but don't worry. Hang on, we're having fun. Um, oh, wrong tank. That would be that. There we go. So in theory, I need about 1400 Delta V in vacuum. I thought you were going to use the capsule. No, the. The capsule is in control of everything. So once we get into space, we're gonna have this rocket that's gonna be, you know, the delivery system, the Kerbals and the relays. We start dropping off the relays. Then once we're done, I will do a deorbit and let this burn up in the atmosphere and recover that. And then we'll separate from it and then they'll re-enter. That makes sense? Because otherwise, if I don't send Kerbals up there, I have to get extremely lucky with the one relay or the two relays or KSC to see to see if we have communication. So, um, so I want to deliver this to vacuum. And I think I want to use the Bobcat. Um, that should be okay. That's a lot of Delta V. In fact, if we reduce it, Yeah, I really need manned missions to get your first up. Well, you know, I, I, I've done it before. Oh, colors. And it just becomes like, you know, kind of a, a weird race. All right, that, that'll work. All right, let's put a, what do we want to do here? Is this already strutted? That's strutted. I can't believe I said strutted. We want to do a engine plate, this one? Turn that off and do the bobcat. Turn off its weird. All right. All right. So let's try to clean up our staging here. So what happens now is um, this stuff is going to stay up in orbit. These guys are going to come home. This is going to come home via stage recovery. Um. And so let's rig the stage recovery right now. Rig. Rig. Actually. Um, right. So let's turn on stage recovery. And let's see if... Um, Because don't forget with stage recovery, when we rec recover parts, we start building up our inventory of used safer parts and we can start using those. Like especially on critical missions. We want to do shoot.
84%. So I think if we... Um, So this is, again, remember, per stage. So we're at 99%, right? Yeah. Cool. We don't need a probe core or anything because we're gonna use the, um, we're gonna use it to deorbit itself and then we'll switch over to the, uh, to the Kerbals. All right, um, all right, so all these recovery shoots. You go all, oh geez, all the way up to the top. All right, that's that. Um, that's that, that's theirs, that's, Bearing. Okay, what do we got going on here? Okay, we're gonna have to. Uh, okay, that's their shoots. This is kind of ugly, but we'll have to clean this up as we get up into space. I just want to make sure. Um. So this is gonna cause some drag if we don't do this. if we can do this. So if we do a into the fairing, no. Oh dear. So do we have to come there and then, oh, that won't even work. Oh, why won't that work? No. Fairings are weird. Okay, we're not, we don't have anything interfering there, do we? Okay, so maybe we bring this fairing out just a smidge. Getting some lag in here. Saving. All right. We're bringing out a smidge. Let's see if that helps. Uh, it helps. All right. Right on the fairing. Nice. It looks weird, but it'll work. All right. So in vacuum, we have 2000 Delta V. All right. That's fine. Probably more than we need. Um, Now for the monster lifter. How much does this thing weigh? 44 tons? I don't know if we're gonna be able to lift this thing up to space. Um, maybe. It looks like, um, Hang on a sec. Now I'm I'm not looking up what you guys might think. This is something when I was growing up, we we used when we had nasal. I'm just trying to find a picture. All right. Here, here, wait. Here it is. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. I don't want to YouTube. We get in trouble. There we go. Kind of an old picture. Um, open image a new tab. An old Vix inhaler. It's a spark plug. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> all right. 
let's um get a decoupler All right, then we need to, um... oh, that doesn't work. Oh, do we not have a, oh dear. Wait, maybe that's it. Oh, whew. I got scared. Oh, it could be, you're right. I'm having lag in Kerbal here, so restart it. Which is par for the course. About every two hours, I like to restart my Kerbal, especially when it's modded. So while this loads up, I'm gonna go uh, do a bio break. I'm gonna grab a snack, I'm gonna grab a banana. So I shall return.
Even though the streamer is gone, the chat log remains glowing, Boar. It does not represent that at all. <clears throat> all right, let's um, let's get back to this crazy idea. It's funny, I grew up with the Vix inhaler. That's what my mom would give me um, when I had a stuffed up nose. I just shoved that and, and it would clear it up. And uh, when I was sick like that, I remember going to bed with Vix vapor rub on my chest and a t-shirt and just burning up through the night and waking up healthy <laughs> the next day. Thank you, Vix. All right, so let's clear out all these. Oh, look at that, we recovered the stage. Well, not much of it, but we got it. All right. All right. Let's load up this uh, weird looking thing. There it is. So once again, the payload is there's two different payloads. There's the relays that the Kerbals are going to deploy, hopefully. And then there's um, the Kerbals coming back home. So this is the delivery. And what I need to do, I think, let's see if this works. If we turn off or lock these so the fuel's not used, they have their own fuel tanks up here. So I want to disable. So cross feed is enabled. Good. All right. And uh, um, should have a, where's the engine at? Uh oh oh it's the decoupler uh or yeah wait how come the engine shr oh, oh it's not connected to okay hang on we got a, a possible little hic hiccup here um Okay, hang on. Where is the engine? The node's back on. Okay. I'm not seeing the nodes. Why? Okay, that's weird. They were okay. That that should be the decup or uh, all right, all right, good. That's fine. So now the engine. I got a problem here. I think. No, that's what I want. I want the decoupler. Good. All right. So what I was trying to figure out is why. There we go. All right. So I think what happened is the engine was on a node versus the decoupler, and that would have been bad. So now with the decoupler, we decouple the craft will be able to depart. Yay. All right. And this. Why do we have? Oh, that's all right. Why do I have multiple nodes going on here? Oh, all right. So we're connecting to the wrong node here somehow. Hey, Psychor, how you doing, man? All right. So what is causing the... Let me turn those off for a sec. So what is doing that? Why are we getting the shroud? Yeah, oh, Psychor in there with the 15 again. months. Thank you, Psychor. Appreciate that. What is causing that? If we put that there, if we put that... Why is there a node? No, there should be a node. Okay. 
and re-enable the nodes. Oh, interesting. What's going on? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why do I have so many different nodes? Oh, there's an engine plate somewhere, isn't there? No. <laughs> no. Why do I see duplicate nodes, I think? That that's acting right. It's behaving correctly. Strange. All right, well. Okay. Um, we have a big enough engine plate. Oh, we do. Yay. All right, turn off the staging. But, uh, uh, well, let's go four. Let's see if we can do four. Our bigger lift, our biggest lifting engine, our only lifting is the, oh, I didn't mean to do four plus one. Oh, dang it. Triple, and then, all right. Dude, no, oh, that's the problem. Oh, okay. Okay, that that actually works. <laughs> Can't believe it. All right, so uh, so this has got to get this into orbit. This can help a little bit, but we're coming up about a thousand. Hey, Karen, 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 how you doing? Dang. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have, I have an idea. It's stupid, but it just may work. I know a lot of you are going to say, Hey, SRBs. Sure, we could uh, we could do SRBs, and that might fix our problem, but not really. What we're gonna do liquid SR. More boosters. We're gonna do some booster. Yes, we are. Um, let's design it. Yes. All right, so let's put this here and So what's got more umph, the Bobcat or, so this in vacuum or at sea level, it's got kilonewtons of what? Um, in, at sea level 568 versus 374. That weighs two tons, that weighs three tons. All right, so we're gonna put skippers all around. 
Yes, we are. I'm still getting a lot of lag in here. Probably the rocket. Um, let me close that up. That up. The chat back. All right. So we got to make this aerodynamic. So let's get a bearing for it or a nose cone. Uh, do that. Do that. And do that. All right. You know the answer, Andy. You got to download more RAM. Oh. Uh, hey, George, how you doing, man? How you been? All right. So now if we take this, put this up here, and we take these guys and we put them there. Uh-oh. Been all right, lurking here and there, nice. We don't, we're not getting a whole lot of thrust here. But maybe that's gonna be okay because I'm gonna do one more, one more goofy thing here. This, these guys are gonna die. <laughs> uh, let's grab the fuel ducks and um, do this. Um, all right. Hopefully this works. If it fails, we can get the Kerbals back. <clears throat> Weird, it's ch, -ch -luggin. Yeah, I know. I, th I think it's uh just my rocket. Alex and I are talking about after we get a lot of this house renovations done and everything's kind of calms down a little bit, we're going to uh, see about doing an upgrade. Uh, CPU, motherboard RAM, GPU is fine. I love my 3080. Well, that, that's in the wrong spot. And can I move that? No, I can't. So I put that. You know, I, I think I know what the problem is. Hang on. Oh, geez. Look what I did. Step back. I think it's the uh, scatter, the terrain scatter I turned on. And um, I guess I want to turn that off. So 112 off the launch pad. We, we're launching slowly. And according to this, we're going to have these boosters for about a minute. I know a guy. <laughs> I think your other craft. I think your other craft deorbit now and the recovery stuff eating RAM. Maybe. <sighs> All right, so I'm not doing stage recovery on any of this stuff because it's going to add too much weight. So we're just going to fly like it is. <laughs> Let's um get these on. Right, let's check our staging here. Four, five, six. Those guys to let go, that gets rid of those. All right. All 
All right, let's put uh Oh. That's all we got. All right, so we need to um wait for them to come back from R&R. &R. So, can I turn off the No, I can't change the um cloud or the ground clutter i have to bounce all the way out all right let's do that let's uh get a new day and available for next missions nice by the way guys if you guys want to join the crew there is a channel points redemption thirty thousand, and uh we'll add you the thing so we're gonna we're going to go turn off a setting here that I think is causing the problem. I sure am. Let's go back. Let's go to settings. There you go. Graphics. Let's turn this off. Sign me up. All right. Let's reboot. Thank you, Orion. Appreciate that. Dragon. Thanks for the scene. There you go. Now we got people joining. Once the Kerbal gets up, we'll get you guys all into the um, into the career here. So we're looking for pilots, scientists, and engineers. The scientists will be doing all the uh, science collection and hanging out in the mobile processing lab, you know, reading emails, surfing the web, and 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 stuff like that. The engineers, they're the ones that got to go out and fix this stuff, you know. Pilots get to fly. I have been lurking, but enjoying the relay deployment. Oh, well, this this should be interesting. How you doing, Ren? Good to see you. All right, let's uh, get back in here. Space, the final front ear. Eh, 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 eh. All right, so let's add some Kerbals here. Do, 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 Kerbals, create. All right, let me go do this like I'm supposed to, I think. Go um, here and manage rewards. That's not how I do it. Review. That's what I want to do. Why didn't why did that do anything? There we go. Here. All right. So uh, first of all, let me um, those those that that. All right, so we've got uh, Saturn. Just start at the top here. Saturn, you want to be a pilot, a scientist, engineer, and not be a tourist. Sorry. Saturn go AFK. Yeah, 
Maybe he went AFK. Alright, Orion, you tell me. What do you want to be? Hey, Zane, what's up? You want to be a pilot? Alright, engineer. Alright, we'll get the engineer plugged in there. All right, and then Saturn wants to be a pilot. All right, DJ. Oh, a little bit of a delay there. I am sorry. All right, race. Um, let's go for a scientist. Hey, Gaith, what's up? Okay, I got you. Ren, what about you? Uh, we'll do another pilot. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate that very much. Awesome. All right. We got a brand new untested rocket. All sorts of problems could happen. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Oh, okay. Uh, let's load up this beast. And again, we're taking two pilots because something may happen. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and take, um, take Ren and Jeb. Oh, I got it, Saturn. Thank you very much. Scientists will be hanging out in the mobile processing. Oh, geez. Uh, all right. <laughs> um, Let's do this. Let's do a very high orbit and then we'll do, let's do 700 kilometers. All right, here we go. All right, we got a tank right off the bat. Can we fix it? Mm, I think that means no, uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 go back to zero. We're having all sorts of issues here. Losing oxidizer. We've got 34 seconds left with the boosters. Yeah, she only had a, uh, like a 118. Oh, Jeb and uh, Red in there. How you doing, Red? All right, there's our gravity turn. Uh, we have... Um, Ren, Phoenix, and Jeb. Yeah, one lost fuel. No, they both lost oxidizer. All right, there goes the boosters. Guys, there's a link to one of the most entertaining people on Twitch. That would be Red Munchkin Gaming. Do me a favor, click on the link, go give him a follow. 
the moral imperative yeah the the uh the, the uh it's called oh scrap oh you're felcom We're going to ride this out, Zane. We're going to ride it out. Yeah, it's a very nice mod. And then it's got a... Since I'm using stage recovery, which we're not doing it on this particular rocket, um, we we have uh, oh, we have the scrapyard, too. It's one of the best. Yes, he is. I'm thirsty. Don't forget, we do have this stage here. It does, Zane, yeah. If, if you recover, if you successfully recover a part, when you go to add a part to a rocket and you have the scrapyard open, it'll, it'll tell you how many you have and how many previous uses, and you can replace that new part with one of the previous ones. The generation stays the same, but the safety goes up, which means it has less chance of failing. All right. So, and by the way, we're not using stage recovery on this because I just want to get this up in the space. All right. So. So we've got 3000 Delta V in this stage. Yeah, dang it is uh, one of uh, uh, Linux's. Now, what we want to do is we want to use the Kerbals to drive this to deliver these. Does it still give you the rating if you recover this if the with stage recovery? Yes, yes. If you use the mod stage recovery and you successfully recover a stage, whatever the percentage is, between the two mods, they figure out what gets recovered. Yeah, the payload was for the Kerbals. That's what I was trying to trying to explain that. This isn't going to be dropping those off. This is going to be dropping off the, the kids, as I call it, the, uh, the probes. But they're driving. There's no probe core in here. So we need 309 Delta V, and we have a lot. This is going to put us at a 700. I want to put this up to about a 1 million. I think we're going to have the fuel for this. As long as we don't have any, you know. So these are uh, stage destroyed. That means we're not recovering them. I didn't put any shoots on those. Oh, excuse me. One billion, yes. Now, the amount of time, the amount of active time you spend on a craft is when the randomization is rolling on part failures. So what we want to do is, oops, put a map. So we're going to go out to the PE here and we're going to push this out about that. So we're gonna spend 84 Delta V pushing that out and then we'll circularize and then we're gonna start. Oh, this is not gonna go well. This is gonna be done very, very sloppily, Lily. I forgot to bring RCS. Man, I'm out of practice. We don't need fairings. Barbarian. 
<sighs> That's okay. We can limit the engines to do this, I think. Just get out and push. All right. All right, then we're going to circularize at the AP. So this will be just our first attempt to get a relay. Once we get some sort of communication going around Kerbin, then we can uh, come up with version two. <laughs> if this even works. No, it's going to be uh it's going to be synchronous. Not stationary. I've never successfully been able to do stationary. I'm just not good with the math and all that kind of stuff. I have a pretty good I have a pretty good system for doing a uh, synchronous. All right, so what we want to do here is we want to get as close as possible to an orbit here. So, and that's pretty darn close right there. So what I want to do is we're going to do another lap around the block, which unfortunately is going to put KSC further away because I want to do my deployment. My first deployment, I want to do as close to the AP as possible. So if we warp over here, let's point prograde. Oops, I don't want to do that. No, 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 go away. Yeah, I have ground stations turned off. That's, that's, okay, there we go. So we're bouncing off a relay. Woo, all right. So we deploy this. Now, hopefully I did this right and my ejection force is zero. Please be right, please re rewrite. Nice, all right, cool. Uh, this guy doesn't have to do anything. Oh, I did it again, that's fine. And all we have to do here is make sure we know his orbital period. We get out notepad here. And uh oh, all right. You're in the way, dude. You're in the door. All right. So we have, by the way, the stock game has this too. It's right here. But we get a little bit more stuff here. So we've got one hour. Yeah, one hour, 50. No, not 60. 53 minutes. And 4.26 seconds. Right? 153.4.26. All right. So this guy just stays there and does what he needs to do. And then we go back to the Kerbals. And we're going to come in here and we're going to do a resonant orbit. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. So we. We need to get a little drift here so we don't bump into it. There we go. Little more. Little more. And stop. Then we're going to execute this. Four point two six. Not pi. Mm, pi. Now we have communication that's bouncing off our first. Oh, that's the polar. Oh, nice. <laughs> OK, 
Yep. That's how that's the only way I've ever done it. There we go. <clears throat> the uh, resident orbit thing, yeah, the maneuver planner, yeah, that's part of mech job. Yeah, it's it's either that or, you know, I I don't know. I I I, di I did it once before to where the parts were being they were staying on the um the framework, but it looked really dorky. All right, so there's our first satellite. So we're going to go over here. And let's point prograde. And now what we do is we have communication, which is good. Okay, we're gonna switch to it. This one has to do stuff. <laughs> Hopefully we have communication so we can do it. Extend, extend, extend. Night. Then we want to do a circularize at altitude, and we have to find the other one's altitude. Where's he at? Whoops. That, that's the one we deployed. I need to go rename him. Be right back. All right, where the heck is the rename at? There it is. This is A. All right, and his altitude is, let's write that down. All right. Uh, or I just bump into it and have an explode. Where are we at? We're sitting right here, aren't we? All right, this one we rename. All right now we say at altitude. And hopefully we drift far enough away from the delivery system. Oh, this might not be good. You guys get away from me. Oh, we're going to We're going to ram this though. Dang it, all I want to do is to retract it. Oh, that was close. Never mind. All right. Now, what we have to do is being that we don't have any RCS, we have to use our little engine here to get our orbital period as close as possible to the first one. So we're going to do this by limiting this, this engine down to like one. All right, so right now we have one hour, so we have to increase. So we need to go prograde. And I actually do a half. Whoa. All right. Oh, I can't. All right, cool. All right, we need 4.26.
close enough. All right, let's shut that engine down. All right, then we go back this. You like that? All right. Last but not least. We do the same thing. We zip over here. Point prograde. Oh, already were. And then we um <gasps> All right. Same thing. Good. And we want to again circularize at an altitude. We're going to get a little distance here. Maybe. Oh. Whoa. Well, we still have time. All right, so let's get out here. Not a whole lot of drift going on here. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Stop. All right, wait, Hank, kill that. We're still good though. There we go. It's gonna kill the Kerbals. That's true, they could have moved. I could have moved, you're right. But that was more fun though, wasn't it? Wasn't that more fun? You know, I, I said it works. I didn't say it was like without flaws. All right, so again, we got to push this out a little bit. Oops. Uh, four to six. I know, I know. It's good, right? Wait. Yeah. Ah! Or two eight. All right, let's uh, turn it around. I don't think it. No, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so we should have our first synchronous. Oh, there's A, B, and I gotta go and uh, label this one. What? I got a crew report stored in this thing. Can I transfer it to only the relays? I can't transfer it to the Kerbals? Probably the Kerbals right there. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. Um, keep. All right, so I'm going to do a rename here. All right, now. Wait a minute. Better. All right. <clears throat> All 
All right, so now um, we're going to go over here. We're going to face retrograde. Whoa. And we've got a lot of Delta B. All right, all right. I'll take full responsibility for that. Until you kill someone, then I'm going to deny all plausibility. Or plausibility. I'll claim plausibility or something like that. All right. So now we can say goodbye to this thing. Um, oh, better. We want to do a radial out, not in. Oh dear. Oh wait, I know what's wrong. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it says I don't have enough fuel. Uh, they can get short circuits, yeah. Why, why do I have two staging? Uh, that's a bug. They can also, since they have an antenna, they can have a communication failure too. All right, so basically I just wanted to establish a, an orbit. I didn't want to burn up with the other part. So we're gonna bring uh, the PE down to 80 kilometers-ish. Then we're gonna go and circularize at the periapsis. <sighs> yeah, in the mod, the only thing that I've turned off failures on were our reaction wheels, just to test to see if we have any react, and then I'll, I'll, I'll turn them back on. A little chunk there, isn't it? Wow. I put, oh, I do, I have recover. Okay, so we can do a stage recovery on this one. Hey, look at that. We successfully recovered that one stage. Nice. Well, 32% of it. So, um, stage component, 
Does it actually say which ones we actually recover? All right. Now we have an orbit right above KFC. Let's go over here. You know what I'd like to do? We got the fuel to it. I sure would like to land at the runway. I've never been able to, suc to successfully land at the runway. Oh, look at the communication. So nice. All right. Um, so this is going to cost a lot of fuel because we have to get an inclination going here. Right. Oh, that's the wrong way. Something like that. That's a mod called Too Many Orbits. You can toggle on and off all the different um, things. The orbital tracking, whatever they're called. Remember, all we have is this little tiny Terrier engine which I'm curious is a generation three with only a safety rating of three. All right, so now we want to do Uh, we're in the atmosphere now. I don't think we're going to get close. Now we could always do some radial out. What do you guys think? Oh, Jesus. The warp engine. Yeah, let's do some radial out. Oh, we still can. We're going to get rid of the uh, stage. We're going to fall short. Old Grumpy, how the heck are you doing? That's not how you recover a stage.
Oh, we're gonna come up real short. Bummer. Oh, all right, well, it blew up anyway. They did. It's still up there, though. <clears throat> yeah, we came up real short. I got close once. I was like within like three kilometers. I said, hey, I'm going to get a Kerbal to walk. And I was doing a physics, um, a physical uh, time warp. So he would walk faster. And he uh, bounced and uh, and and went poof. I lost a Kerbal. Walking or running. So that means we recovered that stage. Cool. All right, we got safe shoot indicators. That's nice. That's our primary. We have our back up There we go. We got shoots. <clears throat> hey, hey, Grass Tiger, what's up? <clears throat> well, we are attempting to get close to the uh, desert facility, but came up short. We did successfully Kerbal Assist deploy relays, communication relays, at a million kilometers. Oh, I'm still streaming. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me. Oh, hey, if uh, if um, Jeb gets out, it was an EVA. Can he not do an EVA report? Oh, do I? I have to switch to him. Oh, he did it. Never mind. Look at that. Collecting science and stuff. Uh, oh, we had a battery go bad. All right. There is absolutely nothing around here. Nothing. Right there. <clears throat> There's nothing around. <laughs> Except for dirt. All right, incoming. Cool. All right. Well, that's experience, right? They collect a little bit of science and we successfully deployed some communication satellites. That's right. <clears throat> hey, they brought back 16 science. And look at that. Jeb and Ren both went up to level one. And they got a bunch of medals, ribbons.
What we need to do is start getting the other Kerbals trained. Um, and how we do that, Kerbals are tough. Yeah, they are. Um, I think, let's see if we have all the parts to do it. All right, so first of all, I want to design just a real basic, especially, yeah, they can land on them and survive. Hey, Gopher, how you doing? Um, okay, so under structural, that is not structural. That is not structural. That's true. I am looking for perfect. All right. So let's make this route for a sec. Um, need a probe core. So we're going to use one of these. No, I don't want to put it there. I want to put it. We still get a. We still get a node off of that. That's cool. Um, batteries. Oh, cool. All right. And. Oh, you know what? Um, hang on a sec. All right, so I want to put RC. No, no, no. Wait a minute. I want to put docking ports on that RCS on this. That way I can use this as kind of a universal put one on each end and it should balance whatever it's trying to maneuver. All right. So to close this up, we either do. Yeah. Um. All right, so wait a minute. Maybe. If we put that there. That, yeah, see, that's going to be in the way. How come you won't stick to that? Oh. Uh... Interesting. Oh, because it's attaching to that. No, oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Is there a calculated thing for working out how much power you need? No, I just over engineer. I mean, each thing will tell you how much power per second or per minute. And then the generating will actually tell you how much. So, all right, we're going to have to do it. All right, so, so to close this off, we do it one or two ways. Um, we could either close it off. Oop, not like that. That, that's unfortunate. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Let's do it this way then. Um, get off of there. Ah, oh, that works. All right, cool. So we either go with a and then what would go there? I know I'm I'm speaking in tongues here. Hang on. I'm sorry. So this becomes a universal component that, you know, basically would do this. And then we have docking ports on each end. Uh, what? Oh, all right. But we're not done. Like I said, if uh, if I can make this route, which I think I can now. All right, cool. So, okay, so we either do that or we do. 
this, which makes it flat, we can still do a docking port. So do you like the flat or the, the cone shape? You like cones? But see then another part of the station would be docked like that. All right, well, hang on, let's check it out. Oh wait. Uh... I got too many parts floating around here. So other modules that dock would like look like that or like that. You do get more space, you're right. Well, um, the RCS would go inside here. We'd put the tanks inside here. Keep it all nice, neat, and tidy. You know what? Is what we could do is how about if the the most so this is the primary work module. How about if the primary work module has this and other modules have this? So it makes it look distinct. I wonder how that would look. So if we take this off, take that off. Um, then we take that off. Well, that looks kind of cool. It does. All right, sweet. Nice work, guys. So we'll uh, we'll rebuild all that because we know how to do it now. Uh, let's get rid of this. And we're not done with this, so get rid of that. All right, so now for the RCS. Um, oh, geez. <laughs> um let's take this off for now now we were talking rcs right so rcs tank storage that would be under fuel tanks and that's all the way at the bottom right i don't think we need such big rcs tanks to oh wait a minute wait 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 i have an idea Ooh. I've done this before and I, I really liked it. So let's design um, a custom RCS module that makes it easy to, you know, so we don't have to rebuild it all over and over. So um, let's do this. Let's grab that. Let's put that. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I need to, I need some room to be creative here. Okay. Oh, what was I thinking of? All right. So let's put that there. 
sure it locks into the center. There, good. Pull that out a little bit. Um, let's use the small reaction wheel. And we want the small fuel tank. Not the small one, but this one. And on RCS, what is it? The 105? The 105, we can do that. There we go. Pull that out. And bring that down. Oh, that, that fits nice. Okay, let's, um, oops. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now we need to scoot this back. That right there. I like it. So now if um if we do this, we put on in symmetry. All right, so let's put this back down. Now using RCS build aid, I'm, I'm, this, I may be wrong about, whoa. Oh, okay. get this. Um, resources, good. Markers, that's what I'm looking for. Average center of mass, and we're doing translation, right? Yeah. So, that is a lot of actually that's not a whole lot of torque but i'm wondering uh what i can do to reduce that oh look at that wow it's a tiny drift you're right i'm gonna put this right about there <clears throat> actually okay that that was my bad Probably. All right, so let's turn this off for a sec. The heck is it? There it is. All right, so my idea is if um if we're done with this, right? So we've got battery. I'm not worried about generation because power generation is going to be on a whole different module. This is just to sustain. So if we add this back and let's add a few things, this is just kind of a, a like a what if thing sort of thing. So, um, can I do four-way? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've done that before, too. All right, so now if we make this route... Now, obviously, if we look at the RCS, it's all over the place, right? There's, there's too much wackiness going on. So if we make this route, copy this, it should balance because it's the same weight on top and bottom. Hmm. Well, that didn't quite work out, did it? Look at the, wow. I wonder what's causing all that. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. The solar panels? Oh, I don't get that. Look how perfectly balanced that is. Well, pr pretty darn close anyways. We have a starboard and port. Dang. 
All right. Now, the problem is, I think that might be an RCS Kerbal thing, I bet. I wonder. Whoa. Yeah, see? I knew it. All right. I knew it. I think RCS build aid went, no, no, you can't do that. And it went. <laughs> Now, the thing is that if we put another module on this, it, it'll have a docking port on both ends. If we put another module on this, it'll have a docking port on, on both ends. So if we want to do a rendezvous, so if we bring some crew up, the only place they can dock is at the very end. So what I want to do is take one of these windows and um, put docking ports on both, both sides. So you have an actual, you know, junction for docking so let's see what happens here uh do we still have a null ref in there oh yeah it's null ref like crazy yeah yeah i've seen that before that's exactly what happened so we're gonna build this and i don't care what's going on in the background so let's do this wait there we go it's right in the middle. Okay, RCS, go away. Um, now I know we have RCS tanks here. And I wanna put a docking port here, but if we give say something like this, then we have uh, backup tanks. We can turn these off. And then we take this. Oh, wait. Oh, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want. In the center? Looks like it. Oh, let's double check. Looks like it. And then we just keep, do something like that. So it sticks out a little bit. And then we have some uh, room to engage with the RCS. All right, let's save it. We're gonna have to dump all the way out, I think, to uh, get rid of the null ref. See if we can just go to the main menu. Hmm. No null refs. Okay. So in essence, look at there. Wait a minute. Hang on. Oh. I think this is fine. I don't care. Oops. I don't care what's going on here. I probably should. All right. One of my eyes got blurry.
All right. Wait a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. But. All right, that's fine. All right, guys, I think we're going to leave that here for now. And I think on Sunday will be a little fallout. And then Monday. Probably more fallout. So we're going to come back to Kerbal probably midweek or beginning of next week. So I want to put this up in orbit and test out the RCS and see how it works. Doing hat gravity. Yeah, I. it's like having an engineering mode. That's how uh, EJ likes to do stuff. I, I don't like to have an engineering mode. If it if it happens, it's true. You don't have a, a test VAB to test stuff in or, a, or a, what do you call it? A... Uh, uh, aerodynamic, uh, you know, you can't test aerodynamics. You have to actually fly. So doing stuff in a different mode to make sure it works before you risk a Kerbal's life. I get it, but that's not what these Kerbal signed up for. No, 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 no. Check out Kenshi. Oh yeah. The, uh, the game. Yeah. Big R RPG thing. I got too many games to play. Yeah. All right, guys, let's roll some credits. I really would appreciate you guys hanging out today. Thanks for the new follows. Lord Cucumber, thank you for the 100 bits. DJ, Elfie, Flip, Paul, Cy, Juice Man, thank you guys for your continued support. Appreciate that very much. Saturn, you're more than welcome. Old Grumpy, we'll see you. Zane, we'll see you all later. You guys have a really awesome weekend, all right? See you guys later. <laughs>